Students and teachers alike can share their iPads to any smartboard by swiping down from the upper right of their iPad and selecting the name of the smartboard on which they want to share. Each smartboard has its own unique name, which can be accessed in the screen share function on the smartboard. More on that later. First, let's take a look at an example of how we can use this feature to model exemplary student work. All right, so let's let's show an example from you, and then we're going to be we're going to be showing Kieran's example um, on the screen. All right, so I am. It's easy if we work landscape for this, okay? And that is sort of like the horizontal view. All right, so we got Kieran's example here. Oh, I did. Okay. I also love using this feature as a teacher because it can untether me from my smart board. I can project my slides from my iPad onto the board so that I can navigate through my slides from the convenience of my iPad. Now because slides does not have a way of writing in the app, I would still need to go up to the board to write. My absolute favorite use of this as a teacher is the ability to project notability to model the completion of work for students, since I cannot do this from a computer. So let's take a look at how to set up our smart boards so that we can project our iPads onto them. If you're in the 1972 building and you're using one of the older models of smart boards to get to that feature, you'll come to your input button just to the right of your moon you're going to keep pressing it until you're down on the OPS HDMI input. From here, you're going to hit the screen share button. And this will give you the name of the smart board for the iPad to connect to. So the name of this board when I look in my iPad menu is going to be Copernicus Cart 1. If you're nervous that kids could potentially share to your screen when they're not even in your classroom, you can go into your settings. Old Smartboard users, this is again still in the OPS HDMI screen. And then from settings, you'll go into the screen share options under application settings. And you're going to turn this first option which says require permission from off to on. Now when a student goes to share to your screen, you as the teacher are going to have to manually approve it so that it won't automatically pop up the way that we saw in Ms. Atkins' classroom. So this is a way to just kind of protect what appears on your screen if you're nervous about that with this feature on the smart board. Those of you in the 1927 building with the new smart boards, from your main screen, you're going to have that same screen share option. Your settings 1927 building users is located in the bottom left of your main screen. And from there, still under application settings, screen share, require permission on. Happy screen sharing!